Hi, I'm Khalib Thompson and welcome to the weekly news roundup from Jamaicans.com on Caribcast.tv, covering December 20th to December 26, 2013. This week's episode is brought to you by our sponsors, Caribtix, event tickets for the Caribbean and the Americas, Anisha Concepts for Small Business Graphics and Web Design, and First Fridays of Florida, South Florida's premier Caribbean monthly social event. Off the top in Caribbean news, Mia Motley, the head of the opposition Barbados Labour Party, is calling for Finance Minister Chris Sinclair to resign his post. Motley has blamed Sinclair for the poor state of the national economy, stating that he must go if Barbados is to grow. Heavy rains caused serious flooding and landslides on the island of St. Vincent, leaving at least eight individuals dead and five injured. According to the island's emergency management agency, among the dead were a college student aged 18 and a cousin of the nation's Prime Minister, Ralph Gonzalves. According to the authorities in Turks and Caicos, at least 18 migrants from Haiti were drowned after their sailboat capsized while it was being towed into port. 32 Haitians were taken from the water approximately 100 meters off Providenciales by rescue teams and police. There may be sufficient strain in the earthquake zone near the Caribbean island of Guadeloupe to create an earthquake of magnitude 8 or higher. The tsunami associated with such a quake could kill thousands in the region. 20 of the 26 Caribbean islands are located in this area. In Jamaican news, Food for the Poor in Jamaica partnered with the Salvation Army to reach out to the most vulnerable members of society during the Christmas season. The yearly Christmas treat was held in the Emmett Park in Kingston, and beneficiaries included the individuals who are served meals daily by the Salvation Army. They received hot food, entertainment, and gifts containing basic food items and toiletries. The government of Colombia has tried for some years to convince Jamaicans to study in that country, but a senior diplomat reports that no one has applied for any of the scholarships available to do so. According to William Bush, deputy head of mission at the Colombian Embassy in Kingston, Colombia has 15 scholarships available each year, but no one applies for them. In diaspora news, members of the Caribbean diaspora are searching for investments in real estate and other business ventures in the region. According to a survey by the World Bank's consultants, 25% of the diaspora have already made investments in the Caribbean, and others participating in the survey are looking for deals but are uncertain about where to find them. Yvette D. Clark, Caribbean American Congresswoman from Brooklyn, is glad that New York's governor, Andrew Cuomo, is keeping open a hospital in the Caribbean community for an additional 30 days. Interfaith Medical Center, which is located on the border of Crown Heights and Bedford Stuyvesant, provides work for hundreds of Caribbean healthcare professionals. Keeping the hospital open means that over 200,000 individuals who depend on its services will continue to receive care. And in entertainment, Team Trinidad got their chance to shine last week as fans all over the world showed their appreciation for the refrain, We're ready for the road. Bungie Garland's Soka anthem, Differentology, tied with a Korean contender for MTV's Song of the Year award. The award was bestowed by method of popular vote and might have been the clear winner but for last minute rule changes. The winning performances of Tessan Chin on The Voice have given rise to criticism about the lack of support among local DJs to Jamaican music. Critics say radio stations have talented DJs, but they tend to ignore new musical talent and the island's music is paying the price. Jamaicans are not getting the chance to hear new voices, new ideas, or new lyrics because new music is not played on the radio. In sports, tennis champions Serena and Venus Williams visited St. Elizabeth to conduct a tennis clinic at the Treasure Beach Sports Park. The Williams sisters taught tennis tips to about 40 children at the clinic and said they were inspired by the amount of potential tennis talent they found in Jamaica. A story published in the Daily Mail newspaper in the United Kingdom alleges that Jamaicans are afraid to discuss the possibility that athletes are cheating on drug tests due to the low price of retribution crime. 
The article noted that the doping scandal is haunting Jamaica's athletes and hurting the reputation they have pr for providing championship track and field performances. In business, Minister of Tourism Dr. Wickham McNeil believes that a new U.S. $3.8 million project will transform Jamaica's Ocherios. The project includes work on the cruise terminal and Turtle River Road construction. The project will continue until October 2014. Buildings and parking areas will be upgraded and shops will be developed. The road project will provide for pedestrianization and landscaping. Unfair trade practices at CARICOM may involve several situations that are not allowed under the Treaty of Chaguaramas. These include unauthorized subsidies, dumping, abuse of monopoly, failing to meet rules of origin criteria, and denials of effective access for qualified goods and services, extending benefits by members in unauthorized ways. Breaches or perceived breaches of the agreement are addressed in the revised treaty. And finally, a personal perspective. I know you can't see it, but it says Happy New Year. This week, 2013 will become 2014. Pretty much everyone you know is going to promise themselves, God, their families, and their countries that they will lose weight, give more to charity, stop smoking, stop drinking, etc., etc. Then, within a week or two, they'll forget all about it and revert to their habits of last week. My question to you is, why do we have to wait until January 1st? Why can't we always consider today as the first day of the rest of our lives? Today is a beautiful thing. I suppose next year sounds good in theory. You believe you can kind of shake off everything that held you back in the previous 12 months. But the reality is things change when you choose for them to change. My motivators of choice are Joel Osteen and The Secret Scrolls. One of my mother's is the daily word. Find some of your own this year and let them help lift your spirits daily so you don't let anyone or anything else determine your happiness, your inner strength, and your destiny. Not a person, not a circumstance, and not a day on the calendar. Whatever else is on your list, make sure taking control of your own life and becoming the best version of yourself that you can become is right up there with losing that extra 10 pounds. On my list, I also have dancing more we're ready. We're ready. Yeah, we're ready. and enjoying life every day. In the meantime, good luck, God bless, and Happy New Year, my friends. <laughs> For more headlines and the news in detail, visit Jamaicans.com and follow them on Twitter and Facebook. For live Caribbean TV anywhere in the world, order Caribcast on your Roku device, visit caribcast.tv, or download the app. I'm Kaleeb Thompson. For all of us at Jamaicans.com and Caribcast.tv, keep on keeping on. We'll see you next time on the Weekly News Roundup. We're ready for the road.